Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and if you're into stargazing, there's a very exciting astronomical event that's uh, happening right now. People in the Southern Hemisphere have been treated to seeing the comet Pan stars for a while, and as of tomorrow, it is just going to move to be visible in the Northern Hemisphere. The further south you live, the better chance you'll have to see it, see it sooner. Everybody's going to have a chance to see it, I think. So uh, tomorrow on the 7th, if you go out in the evening and look towards the west where the sun is setting, and you look right after the sun sets, look just a little bit to the left of the point, right where the sun did set, that's where it's going to be. Now, it'll be at its brightest on the 10th. That's when it passes closest to the sun. It'll be at about 28 million miles from the sun. They don't know how big a tail it will have. It's certainly going to have something that looks interesting, but how much you'll be able to see just with your own eye, nobody seems to know yet. If you have even a small pair of binoculars, though, it's likely you're going to have a pretty fantastic view. Bigger binoculars will let you see it even larger and clearer. Now, you would think, well, let's go up to a big telescope. It'll be better still. The problem is, depending on how, how stretched out the tail gets and how wide with the comet, telescope may only let you see part of it at a time. So generally, they recommend for comets the best viewing to appreciate it in its uh, spread out glory is going to be with a pair of binoculars. If you have just uh, you know regular household type binoculars, those are good. If um, you have a pair of these giant binoculars, so much the better. These are actually crazy cheap right now. Um, I just got this pair for using because I don't always want to go to the trouble of taking my telescope out and setting it up. So these giant binoculars are less than $60. They're made in China, but they're actually really good quality. These are Celestron Skymaster uh, 15 by 70s. And so if you want to order second day delivery or something, you can still go and get a pair of uh, giant binoculars. You'll probably really appreciate it, both for this comet and then the comet Ison later in the year in November. That's supposed to be an even more spectacular show. In any case, I'll put a link down below if you want to see about these binoculars that I got. I've been very pleased with them. Since it's going to be so bright, it'll be a magnitude 1 on March 10th. And then when you go all the way till April 3rd, it'll still be a magnitude 5. Even then, you should still be able to see it with just your eyes. So probably binoculars are the best way to go for that. Now, two dates you definitely want to make a note of to go out and take a look. Well, there, of course, there's the 10th when it's the brightest. But the, the two days when there are special opportunities is uh, the 12th, 13th. It's going the comet will be right next to a crescent moon. And on the 13th, depending on the angle of the tail and how long it is and so forth, they're thinking that the moon might actually have a, you have a silhouette uh, over the tail of the comet. So that would be something amazing to see. So I'm going to check that out. And then on April 3rd, the comet will be, will appear to be, next to uh, the Andromeda galaxy, close enough with a pair of binoculars to be in the same field of view. So that would really be something to see too. So there's some great photo opportunity if you're into astrophotography, but just to have the experience of going and seeing it, it's a really great opportunity. So definitely get outside and look for it in the next few days. Just be careful, especially starting tomorrow, it will be visible so soon after the sun sets that if you're using any optical device, telescope, binoculars, anything to look for it, just be absolutely certain that the sun has completely set before you put anything over there because you don't want to take a chance with your eyes.